Hello everyone, <clears throat> it's Laurie again from A Scrap Mom's Musings and I want to share with you um, a mini that actually a travelogue that I just finished for my team, Team Laurie, over at Your Paper Pantry and this is my third travelogue uh, since January and my second one should be back probably within the next two to three weeks <clears throat> so this is one that is a week overdue is being mailed to Tina uh, right here in Maine and then from there it'll make its rounds for about the next five or six months and um, so I want to share this with you my theme is classic movies as you can see and pretty much all the colors are going to be um, black white silver and grays um, because the old time real classic movies were done in black and white and was known as the uh, silver screen so here we go. The, I did a bunch of flowers. This is a handmade flower that I got in a swap and I cannot remember the girl who sent this to me but it's a lollipop flower with a uh, half pearl center and the white flower and the gray and the black are recollections I believe. Yep, recollections right there and this big flower um, I don't know. I found it in the at Michael's or Joanne's where they have um, all the things to make hair accessories, and that's where I found this. And it was absolutely perfect. And it's all tool. It's kind of soft. The big bling center, and I thought that would be perfect for this. Um, this is like a rose and pearl. Um, uh, what do you call it? edging that I bought at Joanne's. Um, this paper here with the silver swirls is from the paper company and I'll show you the binding in a minute. Um, these blingy stars I put here and there and this bling is K and Company I believe. Yep, that's K and Company and it's called Elegance and it's, it was with all the wedding embellishments. So there's that one and I used stickles and hand wrote or printed uh, the word classic stick pen, a gem stick pen and these letters that says movies uh, was actually uh, where are they? that's also Kane Company and it's what is the name? Kane Company I don't know it usually has a theme thing but this doesn't Hmm. Anyways, that's from Kane Company. And uh, again, more of that uh, Kane Company wedding flourish here. And this film strip is Queen and Company. I bought it for like a dollar at the convention. And I printed off some. This is Gone with the Wind. And this is James Dean. And this is Henry Fonda. And I think that's Barbara Stanwyck. Don't know. Um, but they're all, this is Bella Lugosi as, the, as Dracula, and Casablanca, Ingrid Bergman, and, um, can you believe I forgot his name? Oh my god. Um, and Maureen O'Hare and John Wayne in The Quiet Man. So, Charlie Chaplin, and this is Henry Fonda, Jimmy Stewart, and Catherine Hepburn, I believe. No, Cary Grant. Um, I can't remember the name of that movie, but I shrunk them to like three quarters an inch by three quarters an inch and I glued them underneath for the film strip. So I thought that was perfect. Uh, okay, so as we open this, this binder I learned, I think it's Tracy Treasures. Um, and when you do this binding, if you can see it, it allows for a lot of bulky pages without the book going, you know when you have the bindings and then your book like kind of fans out, never quite fits right? Well this is made so that your book will fold fairly. Say I had all this bulk in it, I mean this book would still be straight, you know, and I could stand it up like so and it wouldn't be fanning out. But I think it's Tracy Treasures. I will put the, um, I'll edit the video to put in her, her address. So as you open this up, um, this this border and this border are Martha Stewart. Again, I did that same edging that's on the cover. 
And I did some Recollections Bling Hair, Recollections Flower. This I found online. It's just an image online. This is an actual 1930s black and white picture of a theater. And I highlighted the curtain. I printed it off in black. Well, actually, it was in black and white. I highlighted the, cur the folds of the curtain in silver stickles to give it some dimension. And down here, you can see this is the music pit down here. And it's kept closed with Velcro. And in here are my instructions. And I'm just welcoming them and telling them to um, that I love old movies from the 30s to early 50s. And um, I just want them to, um, you know, basically what I want them to do throughout the book and to create a two-page layout of their favorite classic movie in the time span mentioned above. And I want them to embellish it in their own classic taste, but stick with black, white, and silver. And uh, add several photos from the movie. And that was about it. And at the very end, I have a thing called... Um, I did some tags called uh, You're a Star, and I'll show that to you later. So that's that. This page is the cast, which means all the girls that are participating, including me. And I'm going to put my photo there before I mail it. So they're each going to, I, this is an image that I copied of a vintage film strip. And I'm going to have them just put their photo over it to cut a cover where it says Shutterstock. And this says the cast. This is um, a silver star from Sandy Lion. And what I did was I scalloped the edges to make it look like theater seats. And I edged them in stickles. So that's that page. And my favorite movie of all time, favorite classic movie, is Gone with the Wind. I have several, but that's my favorite. So this is the current DVD um, um, DVD cover, you know what I mean? Which is done in black and white, and I just printed it, and I just journaled why it's my... I did... This is the first time, I think, in a long time that I've actually printed. I usually type it. And this is a Martha Stewart punch. And I centered the flowers with full pearl, the half pearls. And these are all images from Gone with the Wind that I shrunk down, got them online. They, again, this is the film strip image that I printed on photo paper. And then I cut, meticulously cut with a craft knife, every, um, this part that says, see this part, this white center, I cut that out because I wanted the photo to go under, actually underneath this film strip. So I had to cut it out. And this is from the beginning. She's with her dad. And he tells her what, you know, what Tara really means to him. And this is before the barbecue that they go to and her first wedding. And there's, um, she's in love with this guy, Ashley. And that's her cousin, uh, his cousin, Melanie. And she meets Rhett Butler. And it just goes through the whole, I did scenes from the whole movie to the very end when she's calling for Rhett to come back. And it kind of has a sad ending. And this is a sticker. I could not find the brand, but this is actually um, a photo of a vintage um, movie camera that is in a sticker pack that I bought at Michael's and just stuck it there. And, I mean, pretty much the film strips with all the movie um, stills is embellishment enough. And that's basically what I wanted. I wanted it simple, kind of classic. You know, and black and white. So that's that. And these are all the empty pages for the other girls. And then, I got so much down, plenty. Then, when I get back here, this is where it says, You're a star. And I took chipboard, painted it silver, stamped it with black stays on, flourish stamps. It says, You're a star. This star is quick quotes. And this also, I believe is quick quotes. I painted black, the film strip, and I glittered the star. And again, another one of those Sandy Lion stars and the Recollections Flourish, Recollections Flourish. So I wanted them to choose a movie star that they, if they could be any movie star in the, in the time period that I mentioned, 
30s, 40s, very early 50s, who would they be? And to decorate a tag and to journal on the back, why? Well, I chose Maureen O'Hara. Number one, she was a redhead. I'm a redhead. She's from Ireland. My ancestors are from Ireland. But I just love every movie she's in. And she was partnered up a lot with John Wayne, and I love John Wayne movies as well. Very simple, very classic. This paper here is Making Memories. Um, it's called. It's actually Halloween paper, Toil and Trouble, but you would have never known that. So it's, you know, it's got the glittery embossed look. And this actual film, which I bought after I did my book, is um, Creative Imaginations. This is what it looks like. And it's, yeah, it's called Negative Strip by Creative Imaginations. So I just cut one off and I printed off a photo of her online and stuck it there. And this brad is Recollections. It's a pearl brad. And uh, this is what it looks like. So I did that in the film strip is from Tim Holtz. A lot of people are familiar with that right here. Film strip ribbon. And so I cut off, it's two and two. So I cut off each of those. And, oh, that reminds me, I have to put her name down here before I mail this. And then on the back, I wrote that I would be, why I would want to be Maureen O'Hara. And um, the little black glittery flourish on the top, again, is Recollections. I just love Recollections. And the tags I just cut from white cardstock. So I've got to finish that. I'm going to keep that out. So there are all the other blank tags for them to decorate and then turn this to the sign-in page and I put leading actress which is what we each are and these are star gems that I glued on and there's that paper from the paper company and then the sign you know when they received it and when they mail it is actually started filming and ended filming and I thought that was appropriate and here is just a collage, montage, whatever we want to call it, collage of a lot of famous actors and actresses from way back in the golden days of the movies. And that's that. I didn't embellish it, I just wanted it just like that. And this paper, I love this paper. This is also from the paper company. It's embossed feels like fabric but it's not it's really cool and that's also in the front but it's so covered up you can barely see it and the thing is with these pages you got to push them in so that is my travel log that is going to go out in the mail tomorrow and Tina if you're watching this I apologize for the lateness but I figure I'm team captain I can probably have a little bit of leeway but then again it holds everybody else up so I should not use that as an excuse so, ladies, um, thank you for looking. Again, always doing more projects. I'll be sharing more videos soon. And thank you, and come back later. Bye now.